Epilepsy is the fourth most common neurological disorder. People living with it often have unpredictable seizures and say that it carries a stigma. But as Eric Zarnitz reports, one local man doesn't let that hold him back. I'm on the Loveland bike trail. Now imagine running here with the possibility of having a seizure at any moment. That's what one local man does to help cope with his disease and also raise awareness. Ten years ago, Scott Badzik was an avid runner and airline pilot. I was flying with Delta, had no health problems whatsoever, and came home from a run with my wife. And the next thing I knew, I woke up in the hospital. An infection had damaged part of his brain, causing multiple seizures. The diagnosis epilepsy. Our world's turned upside down. I was on all types of medication, uh, had epilepsy uh, surgeries, had a device installed in my chest. While there is no cure, with time, surgeries, and medication, I'm Scott and his wife again. Kathy have learned to manage and even run with it. I found that the more that I run, uh, the less seizures I had. So I went from doctors telling me, well, maybe you shouldn't do that, it might not be safe, to we've never seen this before. You're, you know, you're exercising, your running's actually improving your health. And today he continues not just to run, but is running marathons, and more impressively, running through his visual seizures. I've had actually people, you know, run with me because they find it so odd that once they start to feel better, I might not be able to see for very well for the next 15 minutes, but they'll run with me. After taking on Chicago with some help last year, he leaves tomorrow for the New York City Marathon, running to raise awareness, and along with eight others, have raised over $35,000 for the cause. Scott may no longer be a pilot, but he can still navigate a marathon with the help of technology and, more importantly, dedicated family and friends. In Loveland, Eric Zarnitz, WLWT News 5. All right, we're rooting him on. It may be too late for you to join Scott in New York for the marathon, but if you want to help support him and others, the Epilepsy Foundation of Greater Cincinnati is having its annual Mason Half Marathon. It's this Sunday, and we've included a link with more information on WLWT.com.